Yeah, good afternoon. Today we're going to cover multi time frames, whole set of subjects, uh, option magic, band trading, uh, Fibonacci. We're going to cover hedging, parlaying. But more, more or less, we're, we've gone through a pretty substantial rally. And I want to show you how you start identifying how things come to an end for a short period of time and, and take action in the other direction and how to make money in these kind of you know crazy markets. Anyway, I want to show you and I'm going to try and move through the other charts, the uh, five and the 30. And so there's a time sequence where I can show you, you know, moments of decision as best I can and tell you what we would do and how we would do it. But I first of all, I want to show you this tremendous move we've had in the this is a daily chart. OK, you can see the market following the moving averages straight up. Here's the 50 day. OK, and this was touched four times, fifth time it held. This is a very high percentage return. When you're away from a big moving average for a period of time, it touches back. You end up buying it. Well, here's the last time we went up in a big way. OK, we came up, we hit our targets. We had forecasted T2 targets to 1600. Then when we hit our target, we increased it up to roughly 1690. We had 1687. Now, here's the interesting thing. This entire time, we got little divergences, but we never had leading divergence. Okay, here's a case where the market goes up, makes higher highs. Basically, we're checking back into the body. This is an extension. We really look at bodies for the most part. And we go up and do a retest failure, and I write on the chart, ups over short term. Look at this leading divergence. The market is, the price is in the high window, and the offset is a third way down the page. This is the only indicator that really can lead price about 30% of the time. And this has been a market where we're jam 60, um, jam 44 and jam 44. And every time it gets jammed, you can sell it. Every time it goes back to 44, you can buy it. And this has been going on for about six, seven months. Now we're still strength. We're still strength. But look what's happening now. The market is failing underneath moving averages, starting to fail underneath moving averages. First time in a while. You're getting little signs of signs of weakness. Okay, then we were underneath the 20 day moving average. Now here's what we're gonna start talking about Thursday and Friday of this past week. I'm gonna show you how substantial the money returns are. And when you break under the 50 for the first time in five tries, you know what happens, the market accelerates down to bigger levels. So here we are, we're looking for the break. We're gonna see how we handle this. We can buy puts, we can buy calls, and prices are going crazy. The volatility is enormous. Put prices have doubled, then now, 50% more than call prices at this entire rally here. We were buying on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. We were buying calls or puts about 70 cents, 60 cents. We're now paying dollar, two dollars, two and a half dollars. I mean, it's insane some of these prices. Well, I'm now going to move ahead to some bigger time frames below this, the 30 minute chart. Now, here's where we are. Okay, this is that day. I'm looking to buy puts. See, we're back. This is band train. This is option magic. We have these, what I call uni channels. There are four levels, and I don't have them at all. I don't have a level in here. I don't have a level here. I don't have a level there. Because it would be too cluttered. Your, your price charts would be too compressed. But every time we get up to the top uni, we're looking to sell. Okay, every time we get down to the bottom uni, okay, and there's a series of four on the money side of a moving average. Here's the mid, mid uni. Okay, every time it gets down there, we're looking to buy. Okay, and then what tells us? That's what we're going to go through and see how it all works on these charts. Okay, now here's again a case of leading divergence. Look, jam. Jam 44, you can buy it. So you can buy it in here, you know, anywhere in here. See? You can buy it, it goes up. Now we're back in the high window, but this is the first time I noticed. Okay, here we are on a one, uh, no, it is a Wednesday, on a Wednesday. The market's testing the highs. We've been at the high band. We're looking at puts. And there are no cheap puts there. Buck sixty-five. The calls are a dollar. I'm spoiled. I have never paid more than seventy cents for a put, eighty cents for a put during the uh, the cheap weeklies. So I don't do anything. What a schmuck. I really I can't believe. It. Here we take out the 40, 20 day moving average. Here we go down to a big sixty of some entire range. Okay. So what happens is the market starts falling apart. Starts breaking down. And look at this, the first time I hesitated to buy puts and they're up four to five, four to five fold. I mean, unbelievable moves. Okay, so we're gonna concern ourselves with this. This is basically what we're gonna concern ourselves with. Then I'm gonna drop down to the five minute chart 
can show you how it works. Now, remember I told you the 50-day moving average very significant. We've been away for it for a while. We almost get automatic 25 to 35 point rallies. Well, we weren't away from it very long, and we hit it again and took it out. That indicates we're going substantially lower. Okay, but how are we going to make money? Now we can go out and buy puts. Now remember, the puts are a buck and a half. Okay, so you get here. Let, let's make it very easy. We go from 16.10 to 15.70. It's a 40 point move. If you buy a buck and a half put, okay, let's make it easy. Make it a buck. The most you can expect to make is a four dollars. This will be four. 40 point move. This is worth four. Okay, you paid a buck. You made three times your money. That's incredible. There's nothing wrong with doing that. That's that's basically what I'm teaching you. We're looking to make money. We have here no cheap puts. The market breaks down. I should have bought them. I didn't. Okay, so what am I going to do now? I want to, uh, I'm assuming the market's going to get killed. The market's going to go down to bigger levels. Okay, so now I'm looking to buy calls. Why? Because the calls are cheaper than the puts. Okay, I just told you they're 50% cheaper. So, and if I'm long calls, let's say at a half a dollar, okay, just for, for argument's sake, 80 cents in this case, I'm looking to buy them, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to sell the S&Ps against them. I'm going to sell the E-minis against them. Now, you can see if I have 80 cents and these things start falling apart, this is a 40-point move. This is $2,000. Now, I hedge in multiples of 3, 4, and 5 to 10 SPY, you know, calls. So if I buy 10 calls for 80 cents, that's $800. I'm selling three, four, five E-minis, depending on how bearish I am. In this case, it's basically four to one. Okay. So if the market, let's just say I bought them at 80 cents, market went down, I closed it out, closed my eyes, went to lunch and never came back for two days. Okay. So I lost $800 on 10. But if I made 40 points on four contracts, that's $2,000. That's $8,000. I just made $8,000. $2,000 per hedge, four hedges is $8,000. That's seven times, almost eight times my money versus three on the puts. Now, it's not hard to do this. I, I have a chat room where I just set all these trades up. Okay, look at the comment I wrote here. Powerful downdraft. Look at price hugging for bands. This is unbelievably bearish. That's why you can say... The way I adjust the hedging, hedging and parlaying, there's a you know, there's a, a video. If you want to know the video, you want to see the video, just give me a call. Be more than happy to uh, you know show you the video on hedging and parlaying. And what we like about doing this is that the price of the calls go down, we can add to them. So if we buy them at 80 cents, we can do them 65, we can do them 55. We can get our average price down dramatically. We can be trading 50 cent puts, average price if it goes down. So we're not long 10 now. We can be long 50 of them. So can you imagine shorting four times? That'd be 20 S&Ps. So you're going to lose 50 times, let's say, the way we uh, move in and out. We do 10 puts, 20 puts. I'm sorry, calls. 10 calls, 20 calls, 40 calls. We double each time down. And I've gone as high as five tranches. So if you start with 10, that's 20, that's 40, that's 80, 160. But you're always closer to the low price. And meanwhile, if you're, if you're picking up 40% puts, I mean, e minis against your put, uh, puts or calls, you're making a substantial amount of money. Here, look at the puts. From here, this was one of the most expensive lessons I have learned in this market. They are cheap, especially when you're looking for the market to go down. Okay, it went seven times. A 70-point decline, seven times your money, even though they were buck sixty. That's a lot of money. So anyway, now what I want to do is I want to start setting up the real call trade. Okay, you can see we start doing targets, we start doing 100 day moving averages, we start looking at calls, the market is jammed. Okay, this is, this 80% of our trades are set up in here with the five minute chart. So now we're long calls basically and looking to make money by selling S&Ps, E-minis against those calls or just buying puts. There's nothing wrong, you can do anything, I do both. In other words, you'll, you'll, as you get to know me in the chat room, I'll tell you, if you're a straight directional trader, I'll, I'll recommend puts to you. Remember, you're paying 50% more. That's a big hurdle to overcome. When, if you can understand you're, you're a trader of S&Ps, E-minis, whatever you want, it's much nicer to buy calls, which are third less in price, and then sell the futures against it. And because you're protected, you have calls, you can go short. And uh, the margin is extremely small if you do SPs against SPs or E-minis against E-options. 
Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak down to the five minute chart. Now here's the big gap down. Okay, here's the gap down. Okay, Wednesday. We're getting killed. Yeah, the guy write, and I write notes. I send out alerts every morning before the opening, giving you thoughts on what to do. The trading gods take my stock profits, but the yen hits 98 and we turn dollars again. This has been my biggest trade of the year. I started recommending it in the high 80s. It hit 103 and a half. Sold a lot of it out, bought it back, sold it out, watched it go down, bought it at 95, watched it go to 93 and change. Uh, these are big positions for me. I had a lot of trouble sleeping. I bought it back at 94. And I just blew it out at 98. I think it's around 97 and change now. It's still going to go to 125, 150 in the next couple of years. But again, it's a, this takes a lot of, a lot of stuff to hold. A lot of cojones to hang on to some of this stuff in this volatility. Okay, see, so now I'm back to hedging 10 to 3 for a little bit because we're going to start trading small ranges. Look at the advanced supplies. 1 to 25, real extremes. We're underneath the 50-day moving average. I think the market's going a lot lower. Okay, you don't see many days where the advanced supplies are 1 to 25. One stock up at 25 now. That's wipeout bill. But at some point, we're going to try and turn this. This is going to get better. This is real extreme. This is panic. When we open a market down on a gap like this, the world is selling into our markets. But again, we get a little re retested to lower the 13th support. Okay, we go up, we hedge. We're long calls. See, calls hit 50, we're long. See, we're averaging in from in here. We're averaging in. Okay, look at this drop. Here's a drop from 609, 1609 to 96. There's 13 points. We took some profits here because this was support. We took some more profits here. We get short when we break support in here. This turtle bisque, resistance. See, support becomes resistance. So now we're looking to short. We're looking to short. We just broke down out of the opening range here. Opening range breakout. Okay, we now, average hedge makes $400. Okay, so you just made $1,200 against the 50 cent option. Average price probably 60. So you made $1,200 against $600 of worth of 10, you know, 10 options, six, $600. You just made $1,200. You paid for them twice over. Anything you bought in here, you just paid twice over. Okay, so now because we're further away from the money, I'm rolling into new options. I'm rolling, these are the higher ones. So I'm probably taking a 30 cent hit here. On these options I bought, I'm rolling in to stay near the money. The market's coming down. I want to be at the money with all my options. Now here, the market, look at we're jammed. This is this is ugly. This is almost tur uh, turbo jammed. This is telling you really shouldn't even be trying to do longs. Okay, but we're long calls. We want to short. See, that's what we shouldn't even be thinking of longs. But we're long calls. We want to short. Look at this move here. I didn't. Even, I probably marked the profit. It's down here. But if you took it from here to here, you took it again from here to here. This is an add-on. This is another six three hundred. That's seven hundred dollars profit on this. Seven hundred dollars per. That's twenty one hundred dollars against eighty cents. Okay. Now we rally forty. Jammed sixty two. See jam sixty two. You've seen many of my videos on the oscillator. Jam sixty two. We sell. Also, this is resistance now. So we're now looking to hedge again. We're looking to buy. Okay, now we got a little crossover, a little divergence. We can get a little rally, cover our shorts. If we have, I'm shorting. Don't get up. I'm shorting this. I'm going long this, even though I'm long calls. I'm, I can still go long. We can still go long there. Ah, look at that. That's a nice trade. Make a couple of pennies. This is support. See, we just made another two hundred fifty dollars there. Okay, we're going up. Up. Ah, see. Look at this. The first time. My God, we're jammed. This is like I told you, turbo. We don't want to do any logs, really. But we got a retest failure. This tells us retest failures define in the trading Bible. Retest failures define the end of a move. We're going to take out the intervening high or low. Here's the intervening high. We take it out. So it get overbought. So what am I doing now? I'm looking to hedge. I'm looking to hedge, 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 hedge. I'm going to be selling rallies. Horrible numbers. I want to be selling rallies. And remember, we're going down. The market's going to get busted. Okay? So I'm just showing you. Here's it. Oh, got to, got to add some more. Now, the ADs are a little better. I marked them in blue versus red. A little better. They would just improve 50%. The calls, we bought at 80 cents. And some, I think, some down in here. Uh, at 71. Yeah, I'm just telling you where they are because you got an average price. Okay, look at this. Look at this. 
we can't go up. Remember, support becomes, look at this. You're laying out hedge, hedge, hedge. I'm just selling the crap out of the market in here. Selling in the chat room, I'm screaming, sell them, sell them, sell them. We're going down. We should have failed generally underneath this. The oscillator should have failed at 62, but we're trying. We're, we're off big levels in here. We're, we're at big levels. Big support levels are getting busted though. Okay, so we're hedging. Look at this. You're just, you're just selling everything you can. You're throwing the kitchen sink at this. This thing is going lower. It's overboard already. Look at that. We're 60% of the day's range and we're overbought. One oscillator tells you you're overbought and it's 60% of the day's move. Okay, now look at this. Coming down, see? That's a nice profit. $175, I'll take it. Probably a little more, just an average price because we shorted some down here. Okay, now look at this. See, we get oversold in here. Oversold. We're hedging. Down sharply, sideways, down sharply again. That's my favorite expression. I love down markets because they're fast and furious. Okay, here's another $225. Now we get again hedge. Now we're starting to fail underneath the mid uni. This is a 20 bar exponential. I'm mean, sorry. I think it's a regular. It could be exponential. I'm not, I'm not, not sure. Also, notice we're making lower highs, flat bottoms. This is support. We're hanging in here. Retest failure of June 6th. Hang, I told you, we're big levels. This is this is a big level. And you can see, one, two, three. Now you become suspicious. Okay? First time down, you can buy it. Second time down, you can buy it. Third time, you're really, because everybody now knows this is support. Everybody now on the short side knows there's a huge number of stops right in here. There are fewer stops here, more stops here, a lot of stops, because everybody recognizes support. We rally shallow. Okay? This is a very shallow rally of this move here. We're now going to take out the low. And look at this. 62. Jam 62. Sign of weakness here. Okay, we're coming down and we're making lower highs. We're going to come out the bottom. Look at this. Look at this come out. Look at this come out. Lower lows, lower highs. Down sharply, sideways. See, down sharply, sideways, down sharply. That's the typical patterns of bear markets. Look at look at this. Look at jam. Look at this jam. Look at how weak this thing is. Look at the hedges. Look at these hedges. Five hundred dollars too. I mean, I'll just give you a quick number. Four hundred. Seven fifty. Make it nine hundred. Eleven hundred. Sixteen hundred. These are all possible. Yeah, you're not going to do them all. You will at the time. Here's two thousand dollars. This is that's what I was trying to show you before in the big chart. Two thousand dollars. Okay, two thousand dollars. You own eighty cent options, fifty cent out here. You buy some more, fifty-two. Your average price is now sixty. See, sixty-five. You're probably getting down here. Remember, at ten, twenty, forty. Or you you might have started with forty up here, if you probably rolled them down. So it would be forty, eighty, hundred and sixty. I mean, you can do them. You can do them multiples of one, two, five, ten, whatever you want, whatever the money you have in your account. These are these are the first time we're expensive. This on a Thursday normally be a 25 cent option. So it's twice the price. That's why when I say 200 options at 25 cents, you're talking five grand. I mean, the money is insignificant relative to what you can make now. Hedge, hedge, see? We're failing underneath this. The oscillator never gets above 62. Oversold, get a little rally, but we now know the market's coming down. Third time, one, two, three, count them. You can get away with that, you get away with that, you can't get away with this. And you know it's going to end by shallow. And psh, look at that thing come down. It only went to, it can't even get back to the mid-June. That's how weak the market is. Look at the sign of weakness. I'm not even at 62. I can't get back. Look at this, 400. I mean, this is incredible. Okay, here's your end of the day. Look at how we go jam 62. Sell it. So here's a day in excess of 2000 possible $2,000. Now I'm doing four to I'm doing ten to four. That's five to two really. Even though I said we're starting out small, ten ten to three, it just accelerated down. In here, you're you're really moving aggressively. Four. In some cases, you can go two to one. You can be short five E's against the SPY calls. Yeah, you're gonna lose money at the market rally. The chances of the market rally in this environment were zilch to nil. And that's right. How we we're gonna still we're still looking for a call setup. Though. We're still looking to buy calls with the idea of ma actually making money on the calls. This is very expensive. I rolled down. I lost a dollar on about 500 calls. That's five, That's fifty thousand dollars. That's the biggest loss I've taken this year on calls. But then when you see the money you're making on the hedging, 
I mean, it's incredible. We were long puts and, and long E's all the way up. Okay, here we go into the next day. Look at this. Indicators don't confirm the rally. ADs are two to one. Look at the market rallies. What do we want to do? We go right back to here. Support becomes resistance. Okay. We want, and look at this. Never gets above 62 from jam. Okay. The ADs are two to one. That's not good. See both pre-opening alerts. Great overnight. We shorted the, uh, the E overnight into this rally. It was a higher level. We caught 10 points coming down prior to this. This is another trade. That's a $500 hit. You know, when we, uh, we go short the E's on a 10 point rally overnight. Look at that. Couldn't trade above 93.4. I mentioned the alert. See that? Good overnight hedge turns $400 versus 70 cent calls. That's incredible. And we're doing four and five, to, you know, four and five uh, hedges. Look at hedge, hedge. Look out below. See, we can't get above. Can't get above. A very simple game. Okay. I don't know what that is. I don't know what heck is that. It looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. Okay, now we're getting oversold. So we're back testing here. Okay, so we're making some money. We're hedging all the way down. I start lower lows here, lower highs, lower lows. Looking for the market to go lower. But remember, I'm still looking to buy. You see, I'm hedging 5 to 2 now. It looks ugly. Starting to hedge 5 to 2. So 10 to 4, 5 to 2. Very, very, very aggressive. In the chat room, I'm, I'm as many as 5, you know, 5 to 1. I'm sorry, um, 2 to 1. Two to one. Okay, look at this. Right back to a 40. Look at this sign of weakness. We can't even rally. The indicator is telling you it's weak. It's weak. The indicator doesn't confirm the rally. It doesn't confirm. Here we're making higher highs up here, and the indicator can't get above where it was here. The indicator is telling you this is not real. Okay, so we're selling. We're selling. We're selling all the way down. Now, now. Why are we doing? Look at this. Look at Ah, we fell off the page. Holy carapola. Now, what happens here is, I want to see how low this can go, because we're now taking out. I know what happened here. I knocked out one of these. Uh, this, this is it. This is it. Yeah, see, double arrow. We're breaking down here. This was support. That's why I had that number of support there. That's why I had it. Okay. Okay. So, here we have support. All right? First time down. Second time down. Third time down. Third time down, guys. What did I say? Retest failure to find the end of a move. We should take out this intervening high. We do. Third time down, what do I say? Shallow rally, we come out the bottom. One, two, three. Third time up, 40% of this move. Boom. I'm going to do an ABC swing. Here's my A. Here's my B. Here's my C. Let's look on a chart and see where it's going. Okay, here's the Fibonacci projection. Okay, so we're going lower. Here it is right here. Look at with T2. See, 100% of this move. 100% of this move is a T2. T, T2. T, T2. Look at that, right to the target. Bang, bang, bang. I'm now rolling into 58. I just lost 40 cents. That's what I'm saying. You add some of the back. I'm now losing a dollar, give or take, on my, on my call. But I want to stay because I want to be long. I would now be three points out of the money. The market's not going to rally 30, 30 S&P points. It might rally 15, 20. It ain't rallying 30, so I don't want my calls to go out worthless. Plus, there's no protection when you're you know doing these aggressive hedges, these aggressive long ease. Okay, so look at, we got T2, 1570, look at that, 1570, 53, I wrote 1570, 30, I just misread the three and zero. Okay, look at this, $600 on this, this $600, $500, look at this, 600 1100 you got 1700 and the day is just getting started, 1130 Again, 70 and 80 cent options. Can you imagine, normally they're 30 cents? Okay, here we come down, okay, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. Now, I send an alert out here to buy calls. This is why we're rolling. You know I'm saying I send an alert. The chart comes out at 12 o'clock. This is an alert. Rolling into the 158 calls to keep hedging, hit 40, hits 40, lost 65 cents on the 159 and a half. Okay? So between what I lost up there and what I lost there, it's over a dollar. As I told you, first time ever, I lost a dollar trading option. That was a $50,000 loss, guys. But you can do the math if I tell you you're making $4,000 and you're hedging two to one. So you're hedging five S&Ps, $4,000 is $200,000. You lost 50, you made $200,000. That's a good payday. 
Okay, so we're continuing. I would do that every day of the week if I could. Okay, this is why we love these more. Now, look at this. Look at this. David, with a retest failure of the 100-day moving average. Remember, I showed you right here. Right there, the 100-day moving average. There it is. Look at this on the daily chart. Right there, and we're over. We're not, look at this, sign of strength. I mean, this is incredible. A, a couple of days later, we get oversold, I'm sure. But anyway, look at this. We still have a sign of strength in here. We're at the 100-day moving average. So what do we do, guys? What do we do? Retest failures define the end of a move, right? Retest failure defines the end of a move. What am I going to do? I'm going to at least take this out. I think now the down's over. See, down may be over. Look at the options. Okay? See, I, I lost more than a dollar a share. But I'm up three grand on the hedges right Look at this. Down may be over. I'm, uh, I'm a glutton for punishment. Okay? I tell them I'm hit 40 cents in here. I'm buying with 40 cents. I lost 65 cents on all my options, whatever it is. Okay, I look. So anyway, I'm buying them. So you have an alert going out here telling you to buy here. See, we got down, rally, holes. Okay, holes. This I'll consider one. This is not one, two, three. This is one, two. Plus, we're at a big level. We stopped going down. Down may be over calls at 37 cents. But look at these hedges. This is another $2,000 in hedges already. So when I was being conservative by saying 4,000. Look at that sucker go. Now we're starting to break out all these areas. See, it's starting to break out. Boom, boom. So resistance becomes support. Look at this sucker go. They got everybody on the run. The shorts have made so much money, they're going to button it up. I mean, I sent out two alerts saying buy them. I mean, they're going to button up their profits. That's all. It, it, I've been doing this game 30 years, 31 years now. I mean, forget it. You just know this is going to happen. Look at that. Retest failures to find the end of a move. 100-day moving average. Target number two. Good Fibonacci projection. Look at how they blow out. Now here, I send out a letter. Alert, alert, see alert. Hits 139, selling half. Okay, we're hedging the remainder. Okay, we're hedging the remainder. All right, look at this. We go back to the 60 of the day. From here to here is a 60% retracement. Down's over. Down's finished. I sent an alert to sell, you know, half, and basically we're looking to scale out the balance. As long as we're not making lower lows. So that means we got to be holding up in here. Overbought. Now, not jammed. Overbought. So it's not telling you it's spectacularly strong. Jam would tell you it's unbelievably strong. The difference between jammed and overbought, overbought, oversold, just goes in a trading range. Jam tells you up that it's very strong going up, and after a shallow pullback, it's going to continue higher. Jam down tells you, it's very weak, and after a little rally, it's going lower. But you have to know this should have taken this out. So you should know from the shallow we should have blown this out. But because there's a tenant in the original book that says the big levels, this is a 100-day moving average, the T2, so the retest failure of some god-awful number on the daily chart, I can't remember. This is a little intraday 40. It's not going to blow out these averages on a daily chart. 85% of the time, big versus beat small. So you got down. I mean, I can't guess this crap. I'm writing this and I'm talking in the chat room. Everything you see on my charts is a reflection of what I talk about in the chat room. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh uh, hedge, hedge. Same thing we had that other pattern I showed you over here. Okay, we're going down. Okay, but we're not going to make lower lows. All right, ADs are flat. Look at that. ADs are flat. Okay. So I'm long a lot of calls, and I'm hedging. I'm I'm just going long. In addition to just being long calls, I'm I'm selling shorts aggressively, and I'm buying the E's because I know the market's going higher. Okay, the ADs are flat, and they were I forget what they were. You'll see them in a little while. They're 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 ugly. Okay, now look at this. All this is resistance, right? Now becomes support. Look at this beautiful game. Ah, look at this. From here to here, we pull back 60% and we retest the numbers right in here. Look at that. That's a $325 hedge. That is nice. That's nice. And that's against a 30, a 40 cent option. So you have 10 of these, cost you $400. If you're doing four, four of these, that's $1,200, $1,300. That's incredible. That's incredible. Now, guess what? You sold them up here. 
at $130.39. I think we showed that earlier. Yeah, there it is. It's $139 selling some. Yeah, see, this is going to go away, guys. I have to do this one thing for a minute. Let's go down here. Let's put the status back on. Okay, yeah, see? It just, what happens is sometime when I'm, I'm over different days, I forget to adjust this when I'm doing it. But anyway, here we are. We're at $1.39. We can buy them back at $0.57. Cents. Adding back. Deep versus deep. Okay, this is a 60. This is a 60. When we do deep retracements against the range of the day, 60% up, 80% of the time we do not come out and take out the low in the first try. We do with 60%, 80% of the time. We shouldn't take out this high right in here. We can take out this high, but generally you're going to fail in here somewhere. Deep versus deep equals trading range. We buy the calls back around 60 cents. Hey, I just sold them at $1.30. I can buy them back at $1.60. Look at this. Look at this. I'm hedging again. I'm hedging again. Oh, didn't make a lot of money. Look at this. Look at this. Sideways. Uh-oh, that's coming out higher. Now I'm doing an uptrend line. I got nice two points. I can connect it. Look at this. Close, close enough for government work. I think I'm going to make money hedging. Remember, it shouldn't take this eye out first time back. It doesn't. In fact, I don't have leading divergence because I'm not jammed, but I do have divergence. Now you know why the... Uh, okay, I have divergence. Basically, I'm in the same high window. The oscillator doesn't confirm it. Should be short, hedge a little bit, and make some money, and I get the hell out of the way. Because we ain't going down anymore. Down's over. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. See, I was hoping everything I was saying was going to get a rally. I was hoping for one earlier. I was hoping this thing would blow out and get up to 1,600. It didn't. That was really the original target. Well, I think we're hitting the targets, you know, later in the next week. I was hoping for an early rally, but we take it, and we get it's a dollar sixty sell more gone. So selling more in here doesn't make a higher high. Here's the high for the day. Retest failures. Game's over. Jams forty four. Okay. Jam forty four. Okay, we're gone. That's enough. You make two hundred dollars more in the hedge. Not bad though, guys. This is what it's all about. You can you can make money by being puts, long puts. But the most you could have made was three times your money. If you got the exact top and the exact bottom, you made three times your money. Now, realistically, let's use 4,000 as a number. And let's say you lost a dollar. You lost, and don't forget, we lost a dollar. So we're down 50. Okay? You're going to make $200,000 long. I'm going to use numbers. Use 10. You know, use 10, use 4. It doesn't matter. You do the numbers. Do whatever you want to do. Okay? I'm only doing this 30 years, so I'm kind of good at it. I do bigger size. But the point I'm making is, okay, so let's look at it. So just say you made $150,000. Okay, you lost you lost 50, you made 150. That's the same three times. Okay? But I'd rather make $150,000 all things being equal. Then uh, let's say I'm long 10 puts. I never got a chance to try and chin. Let's say I'm long 10 puts for a dollar. Okay, I made 3 grand. I'd rather make $150,000 because you you never got a chance to buy any more. Here I got a chance to follow all the way down. Now, the kick in the pants is, remember I said I lost? Well, guess what? You're along 500 calls down in here. Now, you start buying them, and you load up the gunnels down in here. 40 cents, okay? You load up the gunnels. So you have options, let's say average price, 50 cents. Okay? Sold them probably an average of 40. That's 90 cents. You've got everything you lost back on the calls. Every penny you lost. Everything you lost on the calls, you've got back. So you didn't lose anything on the calls. You made a lot of money on your on your hedges. So you can do it any way you want. I have two basic programs. If you want to learn how to do this, come in the chat room. I set up every trade for you. You can make a lot of money. You can't you can't do this on your own. You know you can take about a year to learn it. But you you come into the chat room. I'll set up the trades. I'll tell you what's going to happen before it happens. We're looking to hedge here. We're looking to do what we're doing. Because I send out alerts all, all at the same time. So, you know, the alerts, you know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have anybody getting any alerts. I wouldn't have anybody in the chat room, you know, if, if this were all bullshit. So the, the name of the game is, and then we do directional trades. Okay? You didn't have to do all these hedges. You can still be in the chat room if you want. 
but you want to get the book down the road and learn how to do this yourself, you don't have to hedge. All you have to do is buy the puts, 10 puts at a dollar, sell them at three dollars, you're a happy puppy. Buy a hundred of them, sell them at three dollars, make you know thirty thousand dollars. It's your money. It's whatever you want this to be, guys. All right. I'm sorry I get carried away. I love this stuff. I'm a sick puppy. Thank you. Until the next time, have good trading. This is Stan Moore signing off.